I'm gonna drop off at 7.30, park blocks away, walk to my spot. This event was really cool because it was a one-off uh, free for small business owners that were local. We'll try this. If you had to guess who that was and you guessed Orange Kitty, you would be correct. He is being so bad. Cut that. <laughs> day and it's like 5 50 I woke up too early I I don't know I just assumed I would need so much more extra time than I actually did so we're just gonna hang out I'm still deciding I'm wearing my cold um, sweatshirt I think I'm gonna wear jeans and then a vest and my like jacket because it's gonna be in the 40s and it's gonna be it's probably like 20s right now um, because the sun's not out. But I'm trying to decide what I want to wear on my ears because I got these really cute little gingerbread men from Joann's. But I feel like this would have looked better if I had on my gingerbread sweatshirt. So I don't know if I should go the more classy route and just wear these earrings. I don't know. But I did buy these specifically for the show, so... That's the biggest dilemma we have. I'm just trying to avoid thinking about the mess that's gonna happen with setup. Because I can't drop off my stuff till 7.30 and I have to be set up by 8.30. And the parking I was researching late last night, um, I'm gonna have to like park blocks away. How am I gonna drop off at 7.30, park blocks away, walk to my spot? By the time I get there, it's gonna be, cause I'm like obviously sitting and drop off. That alone is gonna take at least 10 minutes to get all my stuff out of my car. Um, how is this gonna happen? That's the question, okay. Uh, we'll see. I don't know. Do they kick you out if you're not done setting up? Like, I have no idea. I need to just go into turbo mode. Let me figure out these earrings. I need to make breakfast. And I'll meet with you guys again at the show. I don't know if I'm going to vlog this setup. I might. I don't know how I'm going to set the camera up to do that. But we'll see. <sighs>
inside my own world of make believe. Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities. I see the world through ice covered in ink and bleach. Cross out the ones who heard my cries and watch me weep. I love everything. Fire spreading all around my room. My world's so bright, it's hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. Take my eyes open to force reality Why can't you just let me eat my weight in glee? I live inside my own world of make-believe Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities Some days I feel skinny Spreading all around my room My world's so bright It's hard to breathe But that's alright Hush Outfit of the day because I sh definitely forgot to do that. Whew. I also don't have my tripod, so that is not a surprise. Please don't fall. Okay, just wearing a vest, my cold embroidered sweater, jeans, and boots. And that was the outfit. Weather wise, it was beautiful actually like nice and sunny it was right under 50 degrees so actually really nice I thought it was gonna be colder I had my winter jacket and I did not need to put it on um, because the sun was out I am now indoors and actually very hot my hair is really annoying me it hurts because it's been on the top of my head I had it curled it fell out so I look sloppy again I tried today just end up turning out my everyday look so I literally just got home and put everything in the room it is a mess it is so messy which gives me anxiety and I don't have the time to clean it because I still have to make cookies for Randy's Thanksgiving is tomorrow afternoon and I obviously have not had time to do anything other than prepping the chunky bee and then my part-time job and then I still need to make dinner and it's already for something. I'm so tired. Markets, like emotionally, like social, <laughs> emotional, uh, they just are exhausting. I am, I don't wanna smile. I don't want to talk. My throat hurts. Don't get me wrong. I, I enjoy the social aspect. I do, it's just like, it's too much. <laughs> It's too much. So I'm going to get off here and um, off camera, I mean, calculate what I made. I will be surprised if I make more than what I made in a day at the first market, the only other market I've been to. Because while there were more people and foot traffic, I, there were less sales. It just, it felt like I was getting less sales. There were so many more people, but the fact that there were so many more people and so many more people were coming in and not leaving with anything, I didn't feel like I was doing well. But I checked my square reader a couple hours before the festival ended and I was already at like 400 then. I don't think I did much after that, but we'll see um, because I have no idea what I did in cash. So one second and I will pop back in and also we have a very, very fun 
exciting package where I won't do a try on I'll I'll show it to you in a try on later I just feel kind of gross and I don't want to put new clothes on uh, when I feel dirty does that make sense plus I want to work to Thanksgiving tomorrow so I don't want to be dirty but I will show it to you and then I'll show it to you again when I actually try them on because like try on haul I hate when people just show things and they don't try it on because I'm like I want to see what that looks like if it's cute or not because it can look really cute off the body and really awful on the body so one minute don't mind the crying in the background Randall's currently changing Asher and about to give him a bath so <laughs> once he's in the bathtub he's happy but before it not so much um anyways I have the final numbers better than I expected so I forgot my notepad where I wrote it down I made a grand no I not a grand a card reader grand total so this all credit card $418 my square reader was being finicky, so uh, thankfully he pulled through and made it. And in cash, I made a grand total of 200 And I have to do the math here because I substituted my food um, or subtracted it. Two ten, two two hundred and ten dollars in cash, and I spent twenty five dollars in food, so that part was gone. Um, you guys saw the food. I know a lot of people say don't buy food, like pack your lunch because you want to make you're there to make money. Um, but I don't get out much, and so <laughs> when we do these things, like I look forward to getting food there. So I'm not gonna be one of those people that pack their food. I, I like food. I like new foods. <laughs> uh, my, like, you know what, that, like, mindset could change what, if I go into the negative ever. You know, like, when you have a booth fee and you're not making that fee so far, I, I can get why people pack. Uh, I've been blessed to not feel that yet. Um, so a grand total, after everything said and done, card cash, six hundred and twenty eight dollars for a nine to two p.m. event one day uh it was very hectic in the beginning I did not film much because like I said I only had an hour to set up and I had a tent and let me tell you when I actually set up past the time they wanted you set up by they said absolute latest be set up at 8 45 but at absolute earliest I could get there was 7 30 so you do the math there that was not gonna happen and um, at 9 a.m. when the actual fair opened I was set up so it worked out um, and truly like 9 30 I saw vendors still showing up uh, I saw a lady show up with bags of her stuff and like she went up to the person one of the volunteers was like where am I supposed to go <laughs> Like, dang, you did not show up at your meeting time. <laughs> okay, so statistics. Nope, not statistics. Ooh. Uh, well, they're kind of stats. Uh, by hour on my, this is just for credit cards. I made the most at 10 a.m. And then again at noon. Those were my high times, 10 and noon. And then my low times were right at the 11 a.m., which is a little odd to me because I think that's the when I was like, this is not going like that well. Because at the last market I went to, from noon to two was crazy busy. So when at 11, I was like, this is dead. Uh, I was getting a little nervous. I did not do well with like what I sold. I have. Next time, if I have time, I'll make time for it. I will go in and put everything in individually so I can do the correct, like when they buy a winter sweatshirt in the heart form or the square form, I can go in and put the exact one because right now I have a lot of things under like graphic sweater. So I sold the most of graphic sweaters today and cups. My... Uh, gingerbread man cup and my winter cup winter cup actually I sold like four more of so people were loving the winter cup the most um, I did sell one of 
I think I actually sold two of these my cold embroidered shirts I sold one of my anxious uh, coping school shirts I need to figure out for my next market how to display it to where people are seeing like it's a coping skills like mental health type sweater you know and not just a something that has anxious across it. But people did still like that, even without knowing that the arm was there. Um, and then, wow, that's it on here. So I really did not do great on categorizing my stuff. I had someone buy all three of my uh, Mama, like Stanley cup um, pouches, which is great, so now I have none and I didn't have those online listed so that's not a big deal that's something I need to do inventory tomorrow so I can get rid of stuff online that I sold out of I did sell quite a few no I sold like four or five Halloween items half off excuse me so that was good to get rid of those I sold two Oxford teas which is obviously very specific to an Oxford market. So that's great to get rid of that. No baby or kid stuff. I am done making things for the little ones. No, I, no, I need to try another market, like a area because I am in a college town. So of course they're not selling as much. Granted, like there were a lot of families here at the market today, but the, my stuff does well with like college age, like young adults, um, my age adults and teenagers so I think that's why I do well at these I think the moral of this story is know where you're going and if that's the market that your stuff caters to and then that will tell you if you do well or not next to my right I had an earring vendor and she just had a small table set up and had a bunch of earrings and they were displayed really great and that was her first market she had went to and she doesn't even have a website and she was killing it people were like eating that up um, she did really well. Her stuff was really cute. I didn't buy anything because I was I didn't think I was doing well. I was like, I can't like spend money because the last market I spent like 90 bucks. Um, and this one I was like, I'm not making anything. And I don't know why I thought that. I just felt like that. Um, and the person next to my left was a crochet blanket more um, knitting stuff. But it's like a lot of older type patterns and things you would see in like a like a not a modern country house but like an older ones and they they did I did sell see them selling things I didn't see them selling that much though so I think it just depends where you are I don't think I would do this every weekend like as a farmer's market this event was really cool because it was a one-off uh free for small business owners that were a local event and so obviously I didn't have a vendor fee. And so anything I made was just like profit there, you know, uh, which would be dumb not to ever, like if they ever do it again, I absolutely want to do it. And I need to send them a thank you because I just don't like, is that unheard of? I feel like that's not the norm to have cities put on stuff like this. And they had like volunteers everywhere helping people like carry things. I think, I don't know. I really appreciate Oxford. Um, Oxford, the city, if you're watching, thank you. <laughs> and lesson learned, I really hate my wall organizer. That thing tearing down and putting up is the bane of my existence. My hands are throbbing. They hurt so bad. Um, so I need to figure something else out to store my stuff. I don't know if I actually love, I thought I liked it, where I have my rack of like all my designs so like people can see it and then they can say if they want like a size. Like I don't know if I love that anymore. Do I just need more clothing racks and have a clothing rack be size large and you know what I mean? I don't know. I need to figure out what I want to do with that. I figure after every market I can do one, um item to like improve my stand as long as I made money so we'll see what that will be my next one's an indoor one thank the lord no more outdoor ones no more tents I hate tents uh so we'll see and I'll take you guys along on the ride I am running out of battery but I still want to show you the clothes because I haven't opened the box yet my husband did I don't know if he actually looked inside though he opened it for some reason though so let's change my battery um, pull the stuff out. I'll show you everything. I will link her below. Her name's Breely and she's adorable and she does YouTube 
market vlogs, um, other videos. I like binge watch her videos, which is funny because I left her a comment being like, I bought uh, your jacket you were talking about. And she commented back saying, oh my gosh, I just like went on a spree of your videos. And that's hilarious because no one watches my videos. <laughs> You're watching right now and I appreciate you. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna give her love too for my subscribers. And let's look at this. Oh no, my battery first. Okay, here's the box. She has custom tape on it. These are things that like normally I wouldn't pick up on but because I have the Chunky B now, I really appreciate like these details where I'm like, that costs a lot of money I think to do. And if it didn't, I need to figure out how to do it. Uh, it just looks classy, I like that. Um, the one thing about YouTube is if you get your algorithm right, you're watching people that you can relate to. And so I found her based on the algorithm and I appreciate YouTube for that because she has, and like other obviously small business owners too that are on YouTube, I have a whole like stack of them. But when you watch them, you can kind of, oh my goodness, Kitty, you're stacked on three bins and a box of glass cups and my cat just jumped uh, on top of all of them which could have been a huge disaster for the cups and my camera. Uh, but what I was saying is that I get a lot of re really good tips from them, especially when they're doing markets and that's something that stresses me out because it's new to me and it's kind of scary. Uh, but watching them kind of like calms me and comforts me. So if you're into watching those, uh, Brie Lee's on YouTube and does really nice videos for just kind of understanding how a market goes. Like she goes, you see her throughout the market. You know what I mean? It's not just like someone talking. I feel like I do a lot more talking than showing. I tried to get more footage today, um, but I feel like I saw a lot, at least of the videos I've seen. So back into this, she has boutique wear. Um, and while I love my stuff, uh, there is a difference when you wanna look like put together and um, out like date night and going, I don't know like when you want to look really nice no that sounds awful like if you don't want to look nice get my stuff no I'm like more casual my stuff I don't know how to I don't know how to word this cut that <laughs> if you like boutique wear um this is where you should shop oh my goodness oh there's something in there that I did not order. Hopefully this is a mistake. I think she threw that in though. Um, the first thing is the sweater. It's packaged up, well gorgeous isn't the word, but like very professionally. Okay, this is a checkered sweater. It's very like chunky and the knit is very nice. And everything I bought was under $40. Like it was all in that $30 range. Uh, where I feel like a lot of stuff I normally see, I like boutique style, you're looking like 50 to $70. And I can't afford that. And I can afford her stuff. This is so cute. I really obviously like checkered print. Oh, I will try this. I will try this one. If you had to guess who that was and you guessed Orange Kitty, you would be correct. I will try this on for you tomorrow. Okay, and then the other thing I ordered, I had a pair of earrings too and a keychain, um, is this jacket. And this is what made me do the order um, and what drew me to her site. And then the other stuff was just that. <laughs> This is so cute. I wish I would have had this to wear earlier today because that would have been adorable. So it's a like Sherpa. It's very light. I know it doesn't look lightweight, but it is. So like you could wear this um, indoors. Because one thing, because I have a like Sherpa type, woolish type jacket. It is so hot. And so like it's only cute if you're outside because if you're inside, you automatically take it off. And I remember her saying it was lightweight. This is so cute, the colors in this. I need uh, tomorrow. Okay. 
Okay, and then we have this keychain that's on clearance for $3. And I love how it's big, so <laughs> you can hear Asher in the background. Um, so when I'm searching for my keys, hopefully this will make it so it's not as hectic finding them. And then I got a pair of earrings. These are pearl earrings. They are... I'm usually not a pearl group. Oh my gosh, kitty. He is being so bad. I'm usually not a pearl girly, but these are so cute. I feel like I could try to make them more casual. Will you stop? Do not. Ugh. I need to I need to change this setup. He is going to ruin everything. And they're lightweight. I was a little worried they were going to be heavy, but they are not. And these were only $8. That is so inexpensive. And then she threw in some slippers. That is so cute. Oh, they're cowgirl smiley face slippers. How freaking adorable. I feel like these kind of match her vibe. She has kind of an... I don't remember where she's from. Like, kind of southern accent. She has to be from, like, Georgia, right? North Carolina. Semi-close there, right? That's cute. That is so sweet. That's one thing. Like, when you support small businesses, you are supporting a person. You're not just going online and getting, like, Abercrombie and like no one's actually feeling that like excitement whereas she gets an order like any small business owner gets an order and like you chose to go to them I I think I knew that beforehand but after like starting the chunky bee I now have like a deeper respect for it you know a little sticker that says radiate positivity I try and then a little thank you card that's so sweet. Yes, Brie, check her out on YouTube. I will have her linked below. Um, this is the end of this video, though. My next vlog, I will show you the clothes, though. So be on the lookout for that. And I will see you guys soon in another video. Bye. P.S. Um, my name's Brittany. And, oh, that voice did not sound right. P.S. My name is Brittany. I do vlogs, etc. videos. I don't I figure out how to, I don't have an intro or an outro. So anyways, if you're here, I appreciate you watching. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Leave a comment. It helps my video get pushed out because um, right now it never does. <laughs> and I love you. I am grateful for you. I appreciate you. And I have to go because I need to take a shower and I'm disgusting. Alright, goodbye. <laughs>